a mystery, you know. As Evie and Tracy continue to explore Easy's last weeks in the hospital, I've been looking into a different theory surrounding his death. There have been theories and rumors for years that the government may have been involved in the death of many rappers. But to hear Easy himself in the very last interview he gave talk about this. Did the FBI ever warn you, or did they just warn like the first day in the church and run the kid? The FBI didn't. Makes me think that this is something we need to look into much further. To get to the bottom of this, I want to get someone with actual insider knowledge of the FBI, especially its West Coast operations during the 80s and early 90s. Patrick Connolly is a retired special agent who was active during the years NWA and EZE were prominent. This is some of the stuff that I've been like reading over the last few months. So I'm curious if you could help me unpack some of this stuff. He's agreed to speak with me today and answer any questions he can. This first stuff here we've got uh, deals with some of like the West Coast clans, a group called the Fourth Reich. Right. The alleged hit included the rap musician Eazy-E. They wanted to start on what race you were. But who wanted to, the, the skinheads? Yeah. I was one person that people probably would care about if something was to happen to them. In looking at this case and looking at some of the, the information behind it, the uh, listing of African-American celebrities or people on their list of hit lists, right. I really don't read a whole lot into that as far as the veracity of their ability to do anything on that list. Yeah. There would have had to have been evidence to show overt acts other than just making a list of known yeah, celebrities. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, so basically what I'm hearing is that the FBI at the time didn't necessarily think it was something that they needed to al alert even some of the people on the list about because there was some conversations and we were told that he was never made aware, so. That's a great question. I wasn't involved with this case at the mm -hmm. time. But I do know that there's mandated reporting requirements for anybody who is a potential targeted victim okay. of any any case. But that has to be based on some level of, of fact. You know, there's a lot of people that write things out about anything. So if he was not made aware, the agents working this case did not feel there was a threat mm -hmm. to him. 